Hey everybody, Cajun Coin Hunter here today, aka Boo Drop. How y'all are today? Alright, well, this morning Missy informed me that, guess what? Coffee maker burner is warmer at the bottom, it's not working, which I knew that, but I think she said it didn't want to make coffee. So, I can't be without my coffee. She broke out a spare coffee pot we got. So, we're going to take this one apart. And see if we can see something in there. Uh, might be that. Visor's in a little bit. But let's see if we can. This is a small screwdriver, Phillips. I'm gonna need this to see in there. You know what? That is a security. That is a security screw. But I'm gonna have to put y'all on pause while I go find my my Y my Y or fork security screwdriver. Be right back. All right, I am back and I got my little set right here. Phones, iPads, and if they got a security screw, I got the bit. That's for everything. And this is a fork. That one right there. I got another one like it, but it's a little shallower. See the difference. A little bit. One's shorter, one's longer. The fork itself. Oh, I forgot that that was the... Okay, yeah, I was at 2.6, and this is 3.0. Whoops. Now, I'll tell you what, man. If I would ever drop this thing, or somebody would spill it accidentally, oh, my goodness. Okay. Put this in the little thing that comes with it. out of frame there. It's out of frame but I need to see inside this for a sec. There we go. Oh, I love that little grip on there. And then the top, the head up here, spins so I can hold it in my hand and just do that. Yeah, buddy. You're not magnetic, but not a problem. Put that screw in that little slot right there. Let's see what this one's positioned at. Right there. I seen a video years ago. Four years ago. These little screwdriver says the guy that had a review on this kit, this exact kit right here, said this is what when the CIA and the FBI when they confiscate cell phones and what have you, and they need to tear them apart to get inside to do whatever. This is the kit they use. What I just showed. Plus, there's more in this kit. Okay. There's your spudgers, uh, your guitar picks, uh, uh, anything and everything, it's in there. And it was like $75, I think I got it for, they had a special on them, and he had a code for it. I got it for, I think, $45 or something. Okay, uh.
see what else is holding it on here. Do we have a couple of screws under here? We sure do. We sure do got some screws under these little rubber plugs. Imagine that. Okay. Here you go. Let me just feel for these suckers. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Me and y'all, we're doing this together. We're going to find out together if there's just a loose wire or if there's a oh, the elements open on the warmer side, on the warm to keep the coffee warm on the bottom of this thing. The decanter warmer. The decanter. Yeah. We'll call it that. The decanter. That's what it is anyway. Huh. Ammo. Yeah, they sure don't want you getting in these things. Oh, what we got here? A couple thermocouplers, NTCs. Those two are connected. Okay, the hoses are connected. Okay, this is to the switch. Got wires on there. Thought it one of these out. You can see that. Or the burner. Sure don't have a lot of light right here. First of all, I guess we can look at it real good and do a test here. Where is the, where is the, okay, it's underneath that one, so these, these screws got to come off. That's a regular Phillips, which I gotta move on here and caught it. Lemonade. Tubes out the way. Falling apart. It's a mic, uh, some thermal compound. Remember that was on. A little, looks like a little mica plate. I don't know where that came from. This one, see if another one falls out. I sure see some white stuff, white flaky stuff. It's gonna go right there. Just like that? Got it. Now I took it off. Spring clamp off. I don't know what thermocouples those are. I don't know if they got numbers on them or what. Because I don't know. Let's see how to check those. You know, like with a multimeter. That's sorted on there. Okay, 
got three wires going to the switch. Let's see. Man, I don't know where that micro plate came from. Oh, yeah, I do. It came from right here. Oh. Came from right there. I can see the impression on it. Okay, so that's a... It's kind of an insulator from that aluminum right here. From right there. That's where it touches there. Okay, that goes back. Not a problem. I got plenty of thermal compounds. We change as many transistors and amplifiers and radios as I have. You keep plenty of that on hand, which I haven't done many of them in the last couple of years, but I'm talking about when I had my radio shop years ago. Let's see if... Uh, get this right here. See if I got connection. Okay, it says I have connection right there. It's warmer. But there could be something in parallel with it. I have to look these numbers up on these therm on these thermocouples. I want to say they thermocouples. I have to look these numbers up. I probably have to look them up and get back with y'all. Okay, that's good. That thermostat right here, I'm making connection there. Uh, right here. That's a high thermal cutout or a thermostat. Just like a clothes dryer. I was watching something on the computer and the thing went out. Went black. Okay. Yeah, I guess it went to sleep. Alright. Let me look these numbers up on here okay I think I got one out making connection on this one see if they no they're not like a diode okay this one's open this one is open right here. And you know what? I was supposed to order something similar to this not long ago. Little animal right there. I'm not getting any reading off of it. This one I am. This bottom one. Lower one. This one I'm not. Okay. <clears throat> Put y'all on pause. I'll look this up. And uh, I'm better order one now. But we'll see about getting one. I'll put you on pause and we'll be right back. Okay, I just thought of something. <clears throat> Why not? Let's go ahead and unsolder this thing with y'all. Wake up my solder and on.
hope I hope that it's sorted on there and not spot welded. So now I'm 400 Celsius. I bet you that's spot welded on that. I don't see any sort of. We'll find out though. Here, maybe. Gotta get one of these loose. But if I cut them, I can get them sorted back. That's no problem. I think I know the reason why. In case it gets too hot. It gets too hot, it's gonna uh I'm afraid it's gonna melt the solder. Do this right here. Let me add some solder to that. That always helps. small uh, and I don't have them so I'm gonna get my other cutters let me see if these, these are meant for smaller leaves than this this again put it out nope no connection and a connection and um they have a black band on this one all right i'm gonna take y'all off camera so i can move this around and see it for myself all right shall return all right i'm back with you with y'all i should say well, it's a thermal fuse, okay, it's not a thermal couple, 
uh, like I was saying earlier, it is a thermal fuse, 192 degrees C, 15 amp, and I find an equivalent to it on my favorite place to shop and go to online, and it's not eBay and it's not Amazon. Well, you know, I like Amazon, no problem. Uh, anyway, it's uh, $2.10 for a case of 10, pack of 10, yeah. <laughs> Free shipping, uh, $2 shipping, I wouldn't mind it, okay? Uh, uh, I can get them on Amazon. They People want $14 for them. So, and the part number on these are S as in Sam, F as in Frank, and 188 Romeo Zero. And they are, you know, shot fuses. Uh, S C H O T T and uh, T M E. Uh, you, there's other places out there. You gotta order a thousand or whatever. And these big wholesale places. And either Amazon wants too much for them, which I'm not paying 20 bucks uh, from eBay or whatever, like they want for uh, five or ten. No, I'll just stick with. Uh, the company I deal with sometimes and it's the same thing exact same thing so anyway uh, I'm gonna order this I'll publish this video and then I'll make part two to this when we get the parts in all right uh, it wasn't uh, easy fix like I thought it wasn't a loose wire or a broken solder joint you know uh, but it's going to be an easy fix and we have a spare coffee maker so this ain't going to be bad alright uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video and as always it's good being north to the grass y'all stay safe, be that way be that way, stay safe and as always love, peace and crackling grease catch y'all later uh, please talk.